Welcome to Elimination, the podcast that puts sitcom against sitcom and brothers against father. Here's your host, Bob. It certainly is, Bob, and it's uh, not just me, though. I am here with my older brother, Mike. Hello! And always our dad, Dave. Howdy! We can't get rid of him. (laughs) <laughs> so we're going to pick two more sitcoms to go head to head um, because you've clicked on this you've probably already seen it so you know more than us the hosts ourselves so Michael go ahead let's pick this sitcom right. let's get going Alan Partridge I am Alan Partridge I am Alan Partridge I am Alan Partridge are you? Yes. Oh ho! <laughs> Kiss my face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to Dave for some uh, info. Right, uh, I'm Alan Partridge. is a BBC sitcom starring Steve Coogan. It was also written by Coogan, Peter Bainham, and Armando Iannucci. That's a great name, isn't it? He's Iannucci. an ugly bastard, though, isn't he? Iannu- oh, is he the <laughs> little guy the with the leather pants? Yeah. yeah. He sounds like an Italian midfield player, doesn't he? Yeah, Smell you. my cheese. <laughs> anyway. He was also in Mission Impossible. Oh, get you. The first one. Oh, get you. <laughs> <laughs> that was very camp. <laughs> it features Alan Partridge, a tactless and inept radio DJ and television presenter, after he's been left by his wife and dropped by the BBC after the events of his chat show. Supporting Coogan in the cast are Felicity Montague as his trusty but timid PA Lynn Benfield, Simon Greenall, yeah. <laughs> Simon Greenall was Geordie Handyman Michael, and Phil Cornwall was Parks' rival DJ Dave Clifton. DJ. To date, there have been twelve episodes. And I'm Alan Partridge. We'll be going up against. Go on, Pop. Oh, here we go then. Let's make it a good one. Oh, someone around this table is one of his big favourites. It's Red Dwarf. Oh, oh yes. Oh, big guns! It's cold outside. Yeah. There's no kind of atmosphere now. I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> theme music joke. <laughs> uh, Dave, give us with the uh, info. Right, Red Dwarf is a British science fiction comedy franchise created and written by Rob Grant and Doug Naylor that appeared on BBC Two between 1988 and 1999, and on Dave since 2009. It follows the escapades of Dave Lister, played by Craig Charles, who awakens after being in suspended emanation for three million years to find he is the last living human with no other crew members on board. The mining spacecraft, Red Dwarf, other than Arnold Rimmer, played by Chris Barry, a hologram of Lister's deceased bank bunkmate and cat, played by Johnny John Jules. It's easy for you to say. Yeah. Danny, <laughs> it's Danny John Jules. Danny jo- I said Danny John you Jules. You said Johnny John Jules. <laughs> <laughs> sounds better, sounds uh, better. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> a life form which evolved from Lister's pregnant cat. From series three onward, Crichton, Robert Llewellyn, Llewellyn <laughs> joined the crew, although he did appear in series, series two, played by David Ross. To date, they've been a, a monster 74 episodes. All c- TV gold. <laughs> <laughs> TV bronze. <laughs> um, um, can I start with this one? You uh, can. Red Dwarf versus Arm Alan Partridge. Um, I wanted to start with Alan Partridge because I wanted to say... Um, he did the, the bit before um, this sitcom, I'm Alan Partridge, where he was on the chat show. Uh, and I'm, and, no, and yeah. towards the end of it, uh, I think it's Aha or something yeah, like something that, like yeah. That. Um, it, I w- it was a bit weird. I didn't like it. I didn't. I also didn't like um, Alan Partridge's film, Alpha Papa. I also don't like the Alan Partridge um, that's on telly now. He's sort of doing like a one show kind of show, chat show. I just, I don't like it. I don't think it's funny. But, I'm Alan Partridge. That this sitcom that we're talking about today, I think it's absolutely brilliant. It I, is. It, as as a whole, and with the smell b- my cheese. Yeah, the b- 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 sucker. <laughs> along with the like going to the garage and trying to sell his book, bouncing back and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and with the builders. <laughs> you gotta push it. You gotta push <laughs> yeah. it, Michael. And the table with the with the balancing table. Oh, the, that's uh, that is genius. And the James Bond thing as well, where he's, they he he acts out the whole film. <laughs> yeah. It's got Sunny Delight all over the tape, so he just plays it out. Actually, you uh, know the, the woman who plays Lynn. Yeah. I have a guess how old she was when that first aired. 40? 51. She was 37. Cram. Oh, See, like oh, you said 40. I, Because she has her 50th birthday <laughs> as the character in the first uh, series. Oh, right, okay. And oh. I, I always thought that she was, yeah. Oh, so there. Oh. 37. I couldn't believe it. I can. 
you know, clearly. <laughs> Can't really. Yeah, I yeah. thought I was going to blow your <laughs> freaking mind <laughs> with that one. You're deflated now, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I mean, we watched the one, Dave, with, with where his breath smells of gas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he did, just to get their attention. He goes, <laughs> 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 yeah, anyone smoke gas? <laughs> Oh, it was a Scotch egg I ate earlier. <laughs> yeah. it's, not, it's not settled very well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, he, he lived in, in the hotel and uh, right, he, he's, he's brilliant. It's he, really his good. His relationship with the staff is funny as well. Oh, yeah, Sally Phillips, the receptionist. Yeah, they, she, yeah. Cause, uh, what, they spray on his car, don't they? What is it? I'm a cock partridge or something. Yeah. He goes, uh, they vandalised my car again. And she, she's, she just laughs and walks away. All yeah, the time. yeah, all the time. Yeah, she can't handle it. She? <laughs> no. she can't handle it. Yeah. Ba- Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok. What is it? Bangkok TS girls or something. Get, <laughs> yeah. Goes, uh, could, you put, could you make pornography come on my TV, please? <laughs> <laughs> I do like the banter with the rival DJ, Phil Cornwall. I think that's yeah, yeah really at the beginning of every yeah. show. He always yeah. gives yeah. the better of him, does yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He goes, oh, you can't swear on air. He's like, well, technically, it's your show. Show, so you've lost control of your guests, <laughs> 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 and the fan, the the bloke where they end up in his room. Oh, the fan, that's the same yeah. episode as the gas breath. Yeah, yeah. Where he's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh God, dear, I'm really scared <laughs> now. <laughs> He's got a big, I'm your biggest fan, I'm Alan. Your biggest fan <laughs> Alan. He's got a big tattoo of his face on his chest or his back. <laughs> On his chest. He, uh, I like the way it's around his nipples, or <laughs> <laughs> not over his nipples. <laughs> yeah, no, you know the guy, the Ju- Michael, the Geordie. Yeah, he's not a Geordie. No, no, no yeah. He does the voice for uh, Alexander the Meerkat on the Co Compare ad. Uh, the Compare. He must have made a few bob then. Yeah, oh, he, yeah. He, he does I a lot. I bet he made more from that than he did from Partridge. Probably. Yeah. He does a lot of that. He he does the uh, yeah shibbles. That that dude. Wow. The little rat. I hate that as well. <laughs> Yeah, but fair play to Michael, right? Well, no, Michael, that's, that's not his actual name. No, no, that's not his <laughs> name. Michael the Geordie. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to ma- point out that, that I, this sitcom I love, but I'm not a fan of Partridge outside of this. Yeah, I agree. It's a strange Steve Coogan's one. all right, though, isn't he? Steve Coogan's, he's great, but yeah, I agree he's with grown Bob. into it. It's taken a while, though, isn't the it? First, the first thing with his chat, it was, it, yeah, it was, yeah. it was bad. I didn't enjoy it at all, but this is... Brilliant. And it's the same guy. It's odd. He was on um, Spitting Image as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah. 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 And he, I think he won the Perrier Award for stand-up as well when it was supposed to be Joe Brand's year. I think I read his autobiography or something. And everyone's going, oh, it's Joe Brand's year. Bro. And then this youngster comes in and just absolutely killed it. Did, mean, did Joe Brand in her act mention she was fat at all? She may have done, Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once or twice. Yeah. God, that's, that is her act. Yeah. The fat woman. Yeah, that's, yeah. About, that's about it. Yeah. End of. Um, okay, so um, yeah, I mean, I think we all like Alan Partridge, but I know for a fact that there's one person sitting opposite me that it's me. Absolutely, I love Red Dwarf. Uh, I've got a little fact for you, and this oh. is this. Is, I haven't had to research. God, this. I've challenged. I've challenged him to get facts. Now he's full of them, isn't he? He's just well, no, no. But this is this isn't really. This is a personal fact. Okay, so you haven't written this one down. No, it I don't m- need to. It may also be false. <laughs> no, it isn't. It isn't. <laughs> I, I watch at least 20 minutes of Red Dwarf every single night. Wow. How can you watch two every thirds of an episode? Si- well, Why not watch what it all? I do is when I go to bed, it goes on. My missus hates it. You must have a great sex life. Well, this makes up for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's, it's like my porn. <laughs> oh, Lister. No, not like that. So. <laughs> So when I go to Just bed, Thomas Seven up. I'll put it on, and because I've seen it so many times, I don't need to watch it. I just lay there and listen to it because I can see it in my mind's eye. <laughs> so my mind's yeah, eye. Uh, every night, and then I put the sleep the sleep thing on my TV for twenty minutes. Oh, that was boring. <laughs> 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 Good podcasting, yeah. everyone. Um, I have got a better fact. Uh, we'll save it for later. Don't don't give me all fact, the fact, 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 yeah. fact, fact, fact. Coming up later, a fact from Michael <laughs> hey. again. Um, I did a writing course with Rob Grant. Yeah, you said about I that. I did, yeah. I did a comedy writing course with Rob Grant. Give you a few tips, did you? Uh, I did, yeah. He's going to write Red Dwarf 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, yeah, he was a nice guy. He taught me lots. And uh, and my sitcom, The Dump Sitcom, I might as well plug it while I'm here. Have a look on Facebook. There is a 10-minute pilot. cost me two and a half grand, so please do it. Please. Um, but yeah, Rob Grant did do a writing course at the comedy school in Camden. I went, and it was great. Um I think Red Dwarf's got flaws. I don't. 
<laughs> Good diplomacy. Every, every, every I'm ready to vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I personally, I think I don't. I can't tell you what. I, I just love everything about it. There's maybe one episode that is. Li- there's two episodes that are not perfect. What, go on. One is the meltdown episode where they go to a planet and it's full of like wax droids. Rumor's really funny in it, but. Yeah, it's a bit irritating. And the, the other one is the the Crichton, the first Crichton episode, because it's different. What? Not the Robert Lloyd in the other bloke. Yeah, yeah. So, it, but but it's still a good episode. But that Crichton is just shit looking. Do you know he based some of his movements on Herman Munster? And you can see it, can't you? you know, yeah, I suppose yeah. you can. Either way, he walks exactly yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does. <laughs> yeah, so he says to the uh, Kassan the K- Kachansky. He goes. She goes. Oh, he, he says you've got a ridiculous walk. <laughs> it's like it's moving all your hips. And she says, "Have you seen your walk?" And he walks off with his knees. Got her eyes fucking brilliant. Yeah, it's uh, brilliant. And, I, and I've met the uh, the original Kachansky as well. Yeah, Claire yeah. Grogan. Yeah, I met her as well um, at a quiz. Which she was, was in a weird. band, wasn't she? In the eighties. Yeah, she didn't. Did she do Happy Birthday. Yeah, she was in lot of altered images, wasn't yeah. she? That's right. That's right. Well, let me just pick this name up. I just dropped. <laughs> happy birthday, happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. Now, where do you reckon this one come in the rankers? Dot, what dot Red dot Wolf com, number rankers one? Rankers.com 2019. <laughs> it was definitely in the top one. Thirty. What do you reckon, Mike? Um, uh, I'll say eighteen. Number ten. <whistles> wow. Well done. Wow. Can I can I just run through what I think? Rob Grant and Doug Naylor. Well yeah, played. Let's hear about these flaws. So I think. Um, moving on. <laughs> I think uh, first of all the. It, it, the the early episodes are brilliant. The one with the uh, the western thing where they you know, the uh, what's the Riviera Kid and all that's that. That's not of that early. That's in like series three or four. Oh, expert over here, Jesus! Just shoot me down. I watched the one last night where it was a game. That's that's um. Well, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's yeah. wicked. Yeah, better yeah. than life. Mm. Th- that's actually a title. Plain Dibley. That's that's the title of one of the books. Anyway, right. So I think it doesn't flow if you watch it all. I, they changed Kachansky about four times. Once. Yeah, well... Yeah, it was over a lot of years, Bob, wasn't it? I know, but I just feel like it doesn't... If they if, if they could delete it and start again, I think they would. I mean, you can't have 20, 30 years. You can't the Coronation Street thing was weird. Yeah, no, um, but that, that, that was... That, that was, was quite clever, I thought. Yeah, that, that was... I don't know what the hell he was doing in Coronation Street. All they did there was... Uh, it was like a three-parter. Yeah, like, was it? I can't, I've only seen it once, but it was just to sort can't of tread good. the water. Cause That's not a 20 minute a night no, they'd, job. Listen, they'd, writ- they'd listen, written. Listen, he means this. Shut up! <laughs> they had written uh, a new series, but they wanted to sort of see what. It's almost like the feedback thing. So they put that on air just to sort of see. See what the actors in their outfits again and, and well, see what yeah, the fans just to think. See what people thought of it. See and then, and then they sort of got okay to do a new series. And I like the new ones. It's not the same. But it's why isn't it the same? Oh, the, they got a bigger budget, so never, it looks never go better. back. Well, I just I, I like it. Is it. I still love it. Oh, if they made a new series tomorrow, I'd watch it. Yeah, the the the, the full length version wasn't good though. I didn't find it funny at all. I mean, I I liked it except for the cat flap thing. Yeah, I the mean, cat flap was oh just yeah, stupid. That one was but a bit iffy, but yeah. I I like. I mean, it's I like the humour. It's it's it, I yeah. get it. Yeah. What? If, what's your favourite episode? I think the one I watched right. the other night. No, the f- the best episode. Some of the some of the plots are quite. Can I answer my question? No, please? some of the plots are quite intricate, aren't they? They they could be in a proper sci-fi thing. The, aren't they? Well, well, that scene, that scene where I think it's White Noise, where he walks in and he has a conversation with himself, and then he walks out. Rimmer I was just does. about to fucking say that. He, oh, I right, language, Timothy. And then he goes, "Go on, shake your head and walk off." And he goes, "Shake <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That scene. That is it's just brilliant. It's, brilliant, it's yeah. so well written. I yeah, think that might be in episode one. White Hole. I, I'm no, sure. it's not in White Hole. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Yeah. That's my favourite episode. <laughs> white so, noise. Yeah. White. White noise. White. Hole. White hole. Well, no, white that hole, that yeah. that isn't. A, I think that might be in the first or second episode. It's early. Yeah. It's not white hole. Um, no, definitely not. But well, uh, yeah. what is it? What's oh. your favourite? Uh, uh, that's my favourite scene that you've just said, where he walks in and he's, and he's going, you, "You're space crazy." Space crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the one who's space crazy. <laughs> that scene's wicked. I love that. My favourite episode. How long have you got? I mean, <laughs> how long do you want to listen to Michael think? 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I've just sent that down to... Uh... <laughs> okay. I haven't got a favourite episode. I love it entirely. They're all dead, Dave. <laughs> I mean, I do really like the first episode as well, because... What's the song he's singing when it first comes on? Ganny me to Titan, yes sir, I've been around. Wow, he knows it. <laughs> I think after you've seen something from the third series with Crichton in, it's hard to go back to the first two when he's not there. It's like, it's an yeah, em- there's mean, an emptiness. He, he he does make it better. Yeah, he does. Without a shadow Definitely. Of that. that was a great... Inc- yeah, yeah, ad- absolutely. Addition. Yeah. But yeah. a risk. To come, to come, what is it, second season he came in? No, so he came in on the, fir- the first episode of the second series is called Crichton. But and then the rest of the series, he's not in it. And yeah, but he's not played back. by this bloke. Yeah, and no, then he, he, yeah, looks, he looks weird. Yeah, and yeah. then he comes back at the beginning of the third series as the Robert Llewellyn. Yeah, see, it's that it's risky, isn't it? It's risky. I like, I like the bit where he's trying. He says he, he, I think he's with um, Lister. He's trying to lie. Uh, you know, he's <laughs> trying to he's trying to swear. Oh he yeah, goes, yeah. Sm- sm- oh, sm- oh, sm- do you know? Do you know what Smeg is? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. Do you, Dad? And if you don't know at home, Google it. No, I'm going to tell you. No, don't. What? Eh? Don't. There oh. might be children listening. Like if sure if there's children listening, this is educational. <laughs> okay? I've always just a, I a, think I might a m- clean no. version of the F right. word. Well, I'll, be, I'll no. keep it clean, right? <clears throat> so, Smeg. Oh, he's reading this from notes. He don't actually know. He Googled it. I get it. He Googled, Googled it. it. Oh, my God. Smeg oh. is from the medical term smegma. And it's a cheesy type of stuff that lives between, I want to say Bellend. Can I say that? I mean, you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there. And the foreskin. So it's knob cheese. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, now it is quite offensive. Yeah, Off did you not know that? I didn't. Oh, my God. I do now. If you, because back when it was on, I when YouTube first came about, I googled sort of Q and As with the cast and stuff. I do it for most sitcoms. I'm a l- loser like that. <laughs> but one of them, one of the questions was, one person said, "What is Smeg?" And they all sort of got off their chairs and crawled off the stage. And it's like, no, no, we don't answer that question. We don't. Answer, you know, they just went away. So it's one of them questions that they don't like answering. No, they won't. They won't answer yeah. it. Yeah, there are. And I it. also, Rob Grant told me this story about um, Craig. What's his name? Charles. Charles. He. Uh, Dave Lister. They, they was in the yeah. They was in the canteen between shots early on in the series, and he walked over to them eating their dinner, and he said, "I'm worried about being typecast. I'm just going to be the slob. I'm just going to be you know the." Doing. But as he was saying this, he squirted tomato sauce onto the table. And got a sausage off one of their plates and dipped it in as he was doing it. <laughs> and he said, well, you know, you are what you eat. Yeah, the cat, the cat fits. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was. Again, they tried an American version, didn't they? Yeah, that was awful. Crichton went over. It was really bad. That's that's where they, they really fell out. The the two, Rob... Rob well, they, one Nader of them has dropped Doug, out now. Doug Nader. Rob Grant don't do it anymore, yeah. No. Yeah, they, they, they really fell out. I think a lot of it had to do with that American thing, because he wanted to stay. And Big bucks, didn't. though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can't say no. But they did the car. I think the the argument was that Rob Grant wanted to, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it our way. Whereas the Americans were like, well, we'll take the premise, put our actors in it, and the balance was having Crichton in it. Yeah. It was the real Crichton, the real, uh, what's his name, Llewellyn. Um, But yeah, but the guy who played Lister, they used a guy who was up and coming, kind of really good looking guy. And he wasn't, he wasn't a slob. He wasn't a bit overweight. He wasn't any of that. So it, it didn't work. It just didn't work. Yeah, well, I, think, I think it makes it better because I know it annoys Dad well, that he's well, so scouse and, and he does lose that. He's, like, he's not a scouse now. He used yeah. to be like, hey, can I, can I hook a chicken? I'll have a chicken. I can I hook a Well, there are a couple of uh, cast things that would have sent this sitcom in a totally different direction because apparently Hugh Laurie auditioned for the part of Lister. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got that fact wow. written down also. And Alan Rickman was the first choice for the role of Rimmer. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whether that's true, that's but I read they it somewhere. Never, do you know, I think they only earned about a 680 quid or something per episode for that first series. It's something I remember reading once. It was really low. They, they didn't get hardly fuck all. But the... They, they, but I love the fact that the budget was so so small because if you look at the sets, a lot of it is like four inch soil pipe fittings that I use oh, at work. He's such, <laughs> he's like such a plumber. Yeah, and, and that's something the Americans plumber. wouldn't have got. It would have been all super duper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they'd have had the budget from the get go. Yeah, I like think it added to it. But then I, Red Wolf hasn't got hasn't really got a 
Like when I think of Only Fools and Horses, I think of the front room, the IT crowd, the basement, the office. Well, you know, they the got office. the Starbucks, ain't they? But what, but the what, yeah, what's the? Oh, I think the room where Lister bunk is. I think that. Yeah, so that in the first series, but that's, that's where the majority of it is. And then the, in the, when. Well, that's not a bad thing, Bob, is it? No, no, I'm just. I'm not saying. I'm just asking a question. That's all. I'm just saying it's it's kind of it's run for so long. Well, oh, oh, how have they kept coming up with ideas? Because well, they had a three-year gap, so I think it was between series six and seven. Six and seven, uh, there was a three-year gap because they, uh, Craig Charles was getting charged with rape, and he got off like you know he'd be not guilty and stuff, and then yeah. they started again. Well, so he they had, had a three-year three old and drug problem as well. Didn't well, he, he, he used to drink and drugs, and yeah, but yeah. you know. Play, oh, yeah. good on him. I mean, he's come back from it and he's, you know, making something of his life where like a lot him. of people don't come back from it. So You know, something I've noticed, Go on. there's a lot more to talk about Red Dwarf than there is on Ellen Partridge. Well, there's n- mm. look how long they've both run. I there think are, there's a lot more to Red Dwarf. Yeah. And espe- especially as they've restarted it. I mean, I, I, I quite like it. You do reckon? I think we've uh, established that. <laughs> um, so let's, okay, so with Alan Partridge, Dave, did you have anything else to add? Uh, I do like I do like the Wh- one for you, Dave. Which I one? Said that about yeah. Lives, didn't I? Which one is funny after you? What are the two programs? Yeah. Red Wolf. Yeah, and I do f- I do laugh at Alan Partridge, but it's it's cringe laugh, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost like an early Brent, and it? it's that kind of yeah. cringe. Yeah, well, it's, it is exactly yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'm I'm not so sure about sitcoms that just rely on one person. Because that's what it does, and it? it's well, one because person. Well, because a lot of the stuff that is said about... He's the only funny character, e- Well, really. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You you either have a monster, or you have a normal person in a monster world. So you have... What do you um, mean? Well, look at Hyacinth. She's the monster in a normal world. David Brent is the monster in a... In a so whereas, a contrast. Whereas in a different... Yeah, in different sitcoms, um, you've got, like, a normal person in a in a bizarre world. It's it's that contrast. But with them other two monsters you just mentioned, there's scenes where there's other people talking and other people getting laughs. With that Iron Man and Partridge, it's just him. In, uh, is there any he's scene a to very. Him? I mean, it's a strong character, and it, it, it does it does carry. Maybe that's what's called Iron Man and Partridge because no one yeah, else gets a look in. But they it, really but like, wrote it, didn't he? But so, the laughs you, know. you get are good. I mean, yeah. it's, it, I would. I mean, it is funny, very funny. The 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 funny part of it is everyone's having to put up with him. That that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, so it's people's reactions to him. It yeah. is. It, is and the so maybe Alan, Alan Partridge should have married Hyacinth Bouquet. <laughs> yeah, God. Oh, blimey. Yeah, that's a sitcom in itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when he's, when he's, got, he's got his running shorts on, he goes, uh, he goes uh, they, they used to have netting, but, it, but it's perished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he keeps popping. Oh, sorry, I've popped out again, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to say about Red Dwarf as well, the f- one of the funniest moments I ever saw and on in a season where I didn't think it was that strong was the, I don't know what the episode was called, but with the little doll of Rimmer. Rimma, Rimma. <laughs> that yeah, I remember yeah. seeing that for that's the first time. That's because that's when he, he went. Chris Barry went. That's when they brought in the the next Kachansky because he went and done a new episode of Britters, I believe. Two thousand fifteen. Two thousand fifteen. No. They tried to bring it back. No. Oh, tried to bring it back, but it never returned. No, no, this was before. Like, he did. He one of them. The last series of Britters was made later. I'm pretty sure. Well, well. I swear, that's what that's what I, I've always thought. That he so went. he wasn't in that season. He wasn't in it, and uh, well, he, he came in one of. There, the, yeah, um, you're Lister's right. There, what there was because I think a whole, whole series he only played about t- in two episodes. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. I, I just feel like it stops and starts. It stops and starts. There's change of characters, change of dynamic, change. See, of, I don't. And it just. It I, I get that's that. Not a bad from, thing, though, is no. it? And, and there's, it is. there's so many discrepancies in it, right? So many, and it's because give us, give us they one. don't try and hide it. Oh my god, right? Okay, there's so many, <laughs> you can't think of one. <laughs> All right, for instance, um, I mean, Crichton looking completely Dave, different. No, 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 they're Dave Lister. Um, he has got a picture of his dad, yeah, and uh, like when the cat goes, That's your father, it's a dog, and he goes, No, that's that's oh, his right, dog, yeah, that's yeah. his got dog, Hannah, and he goes, Oh, it's no wonder you're so ugly. But and then uh, and then you find out that he's his own dad and he's and he lived with his nan That's who right, yeah. when he because he was f- named Fat Boy at, at school <laughs> because she fed him up yeah and and but he, he was underneath body. the snooze yeah table. so he, but he but he was it turns out it was him that did it him and Kachansky he's what? like hey mum <laughs> <laughs> Kachansky's my my mum 
and and mum. Mom, yeah, <laughs> mom, mother and my child. Like, yeah. Well, I so think, I think like, in a sitcom like that, it doesn't matter. No, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm not, at your. I'm not saying I like it. You. I like yeah, the yeah. Uh, uh, third gunman on the, the grassy knoll as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He shot yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that'll get a yeah. uh, conspiracy theory. <laughs> thing, uh, well, we're at the point now where the voting's going to need to be. No, 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 no. Michael's off. That episode, because they 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 go to that alternate. Uh, past history, yeah, universe, yeah. So they go in Dallas. Is that the one with the bubble ray? Back when someone makes a million out of no, 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 oh. no, no, no. It's just um, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but um, yeah. So they're walk, they're walking along, and there's no one there in Dallas because of, well, all, everything's changed. And they they see a, a man on the ground, and they go, "Cat, can you can you get anything off of him from his scent?" And he goes, "Male." <laughs> 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 yeah, um, about about thirty five years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's magic. It's magic. It's a great dynamic, don't you? <laughs> male. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, it is good. It is good. Well, this is the time to. What vote Holly then. was best, the blonde bird or the? Do you know what? They love them both. I didn't like the episode with the the other one. Quig. Yeah, that's not real. It, yeah, it's actually Holly, isn't yeah, it? It's Holly. the backup. I'm the backup computer. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he makes some more. Everybody works. And the toaster. <laughs> Yeah, was <laughs> <That's a toast. laughs> he says, "Oh, howdy, doodly do." <laughs> <laughs> I'm Toggy, your <laughs> breakfast companion. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. It goes sharp because yeah, that's that's what that's what happened. We, there was an accident with a three pound lump hammer. <laughs> well, was toast aside. I think we know which way you're going to vote, Mike. Well, I'm not really. Sh- yeah, Red Dwarf. I think mean, you should go next, Bob. I think I've got to go Red Dwarf. That's the spirit. I, f- I do. Can I take this gun away from your head now? <laughs> 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 Give me the gun. Um, yeah, I just think Red Dwarf is. It is does make me laugh more. Safety back on. And um, and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a better dynamic. Even though there are lulls in it, it it still delivers. Now I still go back and watch the early episodes. Yeah, Dave, yeah. Dave, I mean, we got for complete. Even though we, we know who's going well, I through, you, I, I thought I thought he was going to vote partridge. I thought he was going to have the the deciding vote. Oh, that, that backfired, like, didn't but it? But it is freeze, and that's the end of the show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but it is freeze if I'm definitely red dwarf. Yeah, I, I I agree. I don't think there's any disappointment there, is it? No, no. Uh, no. Alan Partridge is a great, great character. Um, Just not as good as red dwarf, but not. But then it's carried by four, maybe five. Kiss my face. <laughs> Smell my cheese. <laughs> um, okay. Any last words? Ha oh, oh. ha. <laughs> See you later, smegheads. <laughs> if you enjoyed the show, why not help the lads out by going to Patreon and join the debate? Music by Ben Sound. <laughs>